Okay, so I'm back. Um, I told you that this was not going to go on here properly because of the two DVI ports. Um, so what I did was I went and got a spacer to make it level and to not come in contact with the IR plate. Um, that way when I reflow it I can hold it by here and here and I'll be able to move it around. Um, you got to have a little confidence and you got to be a little careful because you don't want to bang it while it's under the IR light or you could shift the VRAM and if you shift the VRAM then you're going to have to reball it and clean everything and it would be a big pain in the ass unless that's what you want to do. So, and if you wanted to do that you just do it from the beginning. Okay so I'm just going to apply more flux. the shield down. I'm also not too worried about the underheat on this particular situation, so I'm just going to only worry about heating up the top. That's why we wear eyewear, because it's flatter sometimes. And because I'm not using any bottom heat, I am going to hit these modules again. Alright, now all the BGA chips on this graphics card have been reworked. Um, I'm going to allow it to cool down. We're going to reassemble it. We're going to put it in the PC. We're going to boot it up. Um, I will give you a couple of clips of me putting it in. Not a lot. It's nothing new. Everybody's seen it a million times. Um, and then I'll boot into the computer and we'll look in Device Manager, see that the card is working, um, check Catalyst Control Center. Alright, thank you very much. See you in a little while. Okay, so we are back. Um, the board is cooled. The graphics card is ready to be reassembled. Um, one thing you always want to do, which as you can see I've already done, um, apply new thermal compound down, clean it up, make sure that it's ready to go. Um, you want to have good heat transfer after this. You want this repair to last. Um, 
So we're just going to put this back together in reverse order of what you saw earlier. The screws that go here actually are unique from the other ones. They have a flat head so you'll know which ones to put there. And yes, magnetized screws for the win. And screwdrivers also. Very important, do not forget to plug your fan connector back into the fan header. Make sure it's nice and secure. And we're just going to reseat this back over the top. Make sure you get it in there nice and good. Want anything to be out of place. And there we go. Mounting brackets are back through. So I like to put that on first. I'm not going to tighten it all the way down at first, I just want to get them in. And then you kind of want to do it just like you would a tire on your car. I'm going to go corner to corner. So since this is the last one, I will pull this one all the way down. So I'm getting tight. Be careful not to strip. Okay. I'm just gonna go ahead and this back in. Okay. Very important to get all this back down and tight. You want the airflow for the cooling to be like you never touched it. Normally you would also check and see if it needed to be cleaned if the fan was dirty. Um, I know that I don't need to clean this particular part so that's why you didn't see me do it. Okay, now it's going to go over here in this Dell. This is a um, computer that I took it out of. Yes, it is small. Yes, it does get hot in there. Yes, I know there's not really enough room um, before anybody makes any comments about that. I just use it for doing basic work around the shop. Um, data recovery, undelete files virus removals and of course playing steam when there's nothing else to do. So I'm going to reassemble this, uh, then we're going to power it on, boot into Windows, make sure I don't have any vertical lines, no graphics corruption, no other issues. Um, so I will see you when we're booted up to the desktop. Okay, so um, here it is. The system is booted. Um, as you can see, I have ATI HD5700 series, and the same goes for there. There's device ID. Anyway, works fine. Works great. Um, 
not really having any issues uh, that I can see. Um, everything appears to be working fine. Um, let's see if I have a little video, but I'm pretty sure I don't. So, uh, yeah, let me go to YouTube. <laughs> that should probably do it. I mean, where's my YouTube app in here? It's not in here, right? What? Camera person was telling me. Oh, let's watch this video. And since it's pretty much a computer I do work on, I don't have any speakers hooked up. So you're not going to hear any speakers. But no corruption, no graphics display issues, and I'm confident that this was good repair. Um, so now the wonderful, wonderful artist here is going to have to get cut off because I'm about to end the video. But um, thank you very much for watching. Uh, I appreciate it. If you have any questions or you want to ask me any questions about this reflow or any other hardware issues you're having, please don't hesitate to post a comment. Um, Thanks for your time, and I hope you enjoyed it.